Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Now, before I get started here, I do want to remind you I'm not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions. So please only take it as that. Now, guys, as we see here, XRP is still trading basically sideways, still under 30 cents. Uh, you know, every time we try to break above it, it gets, you know, goes right back down. Although other coins in the market are, uh, are experiencing increases. And this is just, you know, it, 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 to me, it's all very um, uh, artificial. So uh, I'll get into that in this a second, though. Um, I do want to say thank you. Uh, thank you guys for. Uh, leaving your comments on the last uh, video, um, I think, I don't know if some people were really uh, wanting to stick with the narrative there, but I was saying that the only option was to either basically sell legally at $500 or hold and take your chances later. Uh, very, very, I, I would say, you know, if you didn't sell at 500 there's a 50-50 chance or maybe even greater that you would not be able to sell your coins after that fact. OK, so um, that was really the premise there. But, you know, hey, whatever. I still appreciate the uh, the comments and everything. Um, so um, anyway, let's go ahead and move on. So to start off, uh, it says here XRP is lagging behind Bitcoin and, and crypto market, here's what could trigger long awaited ripple effect. Well, you know, guys, I mean, as I've said, uh, it's it's very artificial. I, I mean, uh, just coming from, well, remembering some of the things that I've looked at, I, guys, it just is, it is what it is. Um, you know, XRP is going to sit here until it's time to move, right? Um, now going into this, they even, in this article, they kind of talk about some of the kind of FUD stuff, you know, about Ripple actually owning here. It says XRP's performance comes amid a steady stream of news from Ripple, which owns more than half total supply and consistently announces new investments designed to boost the digital assets ecosystem. Meanwhile, Ripple denies that its routine sales of XRP have any impact on price. Now, um, I don't know that Ripple has actually said that, but, uh, you know, we're all aware that them selling XRP on the market, uh, you know, it does affect the price at some point or, you know, at least a little bit. But anyway, that's what it is. Um, again, this is just lip service right here. These are, yeah, I, I really, you know, it's interesting to see, but I, I just don't pay a whole lot of attention to articles like this. Let's go ahead and move on. Again, another XRP poise for positive breakout as ascending triangle pattern takes over. So, you know, more into the TA stuff here. Um, interesting, uh, you know, definitely interesting to read. But guys, my take on all of this is it's, it's pointless to do um, to do any TA. XRP, the whole market, again, it's, you know, it's it's number one, it's unregulated really for the most part and uh there's too much manipulation going on no matter what people want to believe what people think it is highly manipulated okay um now one thing i i was thinking about too is that with this happening and 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 you know make no mistake about it ripple knows what's going on there they of course they can't admit this but guys i i think i i even shared uh something some time ago, this uh, article that was uh, that was uh, created or released years ago, I'm talking about decades, probably, I think it was like from the 30s, where this uh, person that wrote the article outlined exactly how the market is manipulated, how they do it, or at least one way that it's done. OK, so and, and this was this is talking about the stock market. But you got to understand every market, every market 
is manipulated. Okay, it is. It, I don't care if you want to believe it or if you want to admit it or not. It is, and that just is a fact. Okay, so that means you, you know you, you want to. You mean to tell me that all this other stuff, oil, stock market, gold prices, silver. I mean, all of this other stuff is manipulated, but the crypto market isn't, and crypto is not even like truly regulated. Come on, come on. This this. You know, let's just cut the crap and just understand this is just how it is. And it, the, the prices will not go anywhere until, uh, you know, we've reached that time. Now, I do believe in 2017. I think that bull run that happened caught the people in the background. It caught them by surprise because one thing that they cannot account for is the activity of the public. That's the thing. OK, so, you know, with all the FOMO that happened back then, all these people jumping in because, you know, we all well, most of us who are in it now were there then. Um, they, you know, they didn't expect such a such, such an explosion, in my opinion. OK, so um, now they've gotten a really tight control, you know, just real tight control over the entire market. And, and of course, the, the, you know, the fine movements, you know, just cents or, you know, single to, you know, few dollars, the, those movements, uh, you know, th that can happen. They don't necessarily have control to that point that this is again, this is what I believe. This is my opinion. Um, but overall, any big movements, they have very good control over it because, you know, if they want to bring the price down. You see sales, you, you, you know, you, if they want to let it go up, you know, they, uh, you know, do whatever's necessary to make it go up. I mean, I'm not a, uh, you know, financial TA, you know, trader or none of that, but it's really easy to, to see what's happening. OK, um, now, one thing I wanted to look at, too, is this this right here, this 4chan user, right? It says 4chan user with a history of accurate predictions protects Bitcoin to hit 16,000 this week. Okay, so and the thing is, it's it, you know it's not like exact, uh, right, spot on. I mean, it's kind of generalized, uh, but for the most part, he's correct. Now, this is exactly what I would expect to see, right? Just not that, you know, this is the reason why he's saying like 5,300, 9,200. It's not going to be like 92, 45, 43 or something like that. There's it's going to be in the ballpark, right? This is exactly what you would expect if there is manipulation going on. OK, and he's he's citing, uh, you know, he's, and I think in here it says, you know, the the, the uh, charts never lie. Right. Well, that's absolute. You know, <laughs> that's throwing something in there just to kind of divert you. OK, because it is. You know, if you look in the right locations, it is admitted, right? It's admitted that TA doesn't work. It, it it can't work. I mean, they can make it look like it works, right? But it can't work in a market that's not organic. Now, when you when it comes to like stock market things like that, for the most part, it doesn't have widespread um, manipulation like the crypto market does. So it's a bit easier to kind of you know, gauge where it's going. But that, again, is not going to always be the case. There are those out there with the with the resources to do whatever it is they want to do for, you know, maybe a, a one one uh, stock or maybe multiple. But the fact is it can be done. OK, um, so. My mindset is this. Ripple very likely has something really big to announce during swell okay um with the price not doing anything with all the all the people that have entered this space i mean you can even see all the different people that are coming onto twitter um in and even in you know youtube just all over there are there are actually people who and, and with the uh, uh different in, um, interviews that have happened on cnn and you know these news channels the fact that XRP uh, crypto is being more talked about, there should be um, more folks getting in. OK, 
But for whatever reason, and I'm not going to even talk about my theories on that, but for whatever reason, uh, the market is being kept in a place. And I'm not saying just XRP. I'm saying the entire market. Okay. Um, now, uh, a lot of this, I'm not saying it's just whales or, you know, individuals who are using their own money. Uh, it also incorporates how the public is interacted with, right? That is a very big part of it as well. I'm telling you this, this article that I wrote, uh, read, I'm sorry that I wrote, um, this, this article that I wrote, read, uh, it outlined all of this and it wasn't actually an article. It was, uh, someone had written it up and, uh, whoever published it or, or came out with it, um, got hold of it somehow. But either way, they outlined everything and how exactly they do it. And it did, uh, really kind of suggest that the public has a lot to do with it as well. But anyway, uh, it, it makes sense to me that if we're going to see a movement, this is like, this is the time it, it, it really XRP. And I'm, you know, just going to XRP itself. XRP has to make a move during swell. Otherwise, if it doesn't move during swell, I don't know what to tell you because that's, um, you know, that is the biggest event. It is the if if, it, if XRP does not move during swell, uh, I mean, I'm I'm telling you that is going to be a very bad sign uh, in in my eyes. You know, you know, a lot of people have said that it's not going to move. Some have said it. You know, some believe it's going to. I'm telling you from my perspective, and again, I'm not giving any advice, but from my perspective, if uh, it has to move at this point. It gives a very good reason. And I'm saying also there has to be some type of announcement or maybe announcements that will be uh, shared during that time. And that will give reason for XRP to really move. Now, as we approach swell, we could very well start to climb. OK, um, even as we go through this week, uh, it's very possible, you know, and also if this 4chan guy or whoever this user was is correct which, you know, they've been pretty, you know, pretty spot on uh, in uh, some of his previous predictions. But if he is correct, $16,000 by the end of this month could happen. Maybe not. I mean, I'm not citing this as, you know, oh, it's got to happen. No, I'm just using this as a reference. Uh, so, you know, don't don't think I'm going off the rails on that. But anyway, um I do believe it's it's you know it's possible that XRP could get uh, maybe 50 cents um, by the time swell you know by the time we get to swell, uh, but definitely during and after swell, I believe we're going to see a huge increase in price. Okay, now huge is relative. I'm not going to tell you what I actually <laughs> what I actually uh, think. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So here, crypto exchange abruptly moves 1.2 billion XRP as Bitcoin wells erupt. Okay. So anyway, you know, case in point. But um, yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm speaking on relative terms. What you think is huge may not be huge to me, vice versa. But either way, guys, um, it something I believe something has to happen. Um, you know, somewhere around that time. Okay. So, um, what else? That, uh, I'm just going over my notes here, what I wanted to talk about, but you know, really th that's it. I mean, my, my main focus, uh, on this video is just this, the market is manipulated. Okay. And I've heard a lot of people just completely deny it and say, no, it's not. And look, and, you know, everybody has their you know, their own thoughts. Uh, I am not here to say anybody's wrong or right or whatever. In my opinion, it is manipulated. We can see, right? We can see different things that happen. Guys, I mean, for example, the oil prices are manipulated very, or rather, I'll, I'll say this, they're very easily manipulated. Okay. Very easily. As we've seen, there have been some air quote, attacks 
uh, that have happened to uh, you know certain uh, refineries or whatever. And what happens directly after that? Well, the prices go up. Now, I am a firm believer that you know when we are being told that there is some type of issue or something that happens like that uh, through the mainstream media. You know what? I take that with a very large grain of salt. Okay, I don't believe anything. Well, I'll put it. I'll put it like this. I don't believe the narrative that comes out of mainstream media. I know a lot of you probably don't either, but in in my mind, it's all designed to get a reaction out of us. Okay. I mean, I, I'm not going to go into all of that, but um, you know, it just to me, if if you really want if you really want to, to, to kind of understand and, and see, all you have to do is want to see it. That's it. It's not some um, just huge paradigm shift that you have to have before you can see it. That comes after. You just have to want to see it. Okay. If you start to understand that something's not right, I mean, yes, it's very much like the Matrix. So if you want to understand that there's something just not right, open your eyes. It's, it's not hard to see, you know. If you're sitting in a car with five other individuals and, you know, you start to smell something kind of stinky, well, you know what? Very likely somebody farted. Don't deny it, you know. <laughs> Don't deny it. <laughs> so... You know, it is what it is. Just roll down the window. <laughs> that's, that's it. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, I always have to throw a little bit of something funny in there. I didn't want to get too, uh, you know, you know, too deep into that. But anyway, uh, again, thank you guys for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If there is anything that uh, you guys you know, want me to talk about, uh, you know, I, I, I just want to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, I got, you know, honestly, a part of the reason why I haven't been making uh, as many videos as, as I had is just because, you know, it was getting kind of boring to me. I mean, everybody's covering the same crap and nothing is happening, right? So uh, in my mind, there's it's time to change. So, you know, what I'm going to start doing is exactly what I've been doing, just, you know, putting things out there the way I want. I don't care. You know, you know, I don't I just don't I don't care about uh, all the good news that com that's coming out. And uh, I got to cover it all the time. I mean, I just I just don't. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to cover it. Yes, I am. But um, I, you know, obviously I'm going to, uh, you know, just kind of share what I think about it. So, guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and the post notification button. And also, like I said, if there's anything you want me to cover, just let me know. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.